fitting a match. And there you see the thermal cover open. And the hatch is now open. So you have a go, comrade, to egress the airlock. If you want to copy, go to egress. And with that, we see EV-1, Randy Bresnick, you'll hear him refer to his comrade, his call sign, uh, Bresnick Marine, um, now moving outside of the airlock. For the duration of the spacewalk, they're going to be talking to fellow NASA astronaut Mike Hopkins. You might uh, hear him refer to as Hopper throughout, and he's going to be the ground IV, basically walking them through their procedures today. Meanwhile, on board the station, still Joe Acaba and Paolo Nespoli, who help suit them up. Okay, we're standing by for your guys' buddy checks. Roger. And Houston, that was uh, might have been one small step for a man, but one giant leap for Sabo. Congratulations, my friend, on becoming the 221st human to exit your own personal spacecraft into the void of space. Thanks, comrade. Appreciate those words. Happy to be doing this with you. That's it for all of the tender moments you'll get from me. Now back to work. <laughs> exactly. Okay, guys. So uh, this is just a reminder, slow and steady, and let's go get her done. There are two blankets that need to be released to uncover the joint interface. Since the crew cannot reach all six EDFs or the bolts that we need to release at one point in time, we will release two, rotate the arm, then we will power down and drive the D-mate connector and finally release the other four. The degraded joint will be removed and the crew will translate it to the CETA cart to attempt stow location. The crew inspects the interfaces prior to mating, and then they will install four bolts to an initial torque. We will power up the arm and rotate it so they can release, reach the other two bolts. Do those to a final torque, and then we will rotate it again to be able to do a final torque on the first four bolts. Time permitting, pictures of the bolt final config will be taken prior to putting the MLI blankets back on. With a uh, essentially new uh, version of it, um, this one uh, that they're replacing has been in use for about 16 years now and has been used over 400 times. They'll be replacing it with one that's only been used about 14 times, as we heard uh, from our friends at the Canadian Space Agency a little bit earlier in the broadcast today. Motion is in. Uh, or the bolts that are holding the latching end effector in place on Canada Arm 2. Once those remaining four are released, all six will be uh, out, and then they'll be able to remove the Lee and then move it to its temporary stowage location. To today's spacewalk, everything going smoothly. Uh, the two crew members a little bit ahead on their timeline so far, getting off the old latching end effector without any issues, and now getting it over to its temporary stowage location. 